What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Living Freed channel. My name is Tyler Freed and in this video I'm going to be giving my six month review on Crete Carrier. I'm going to be sharing my opinion and my experience here at Crete for the last six months. That's pretty much all I'm going to do in this video. So if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you for clicking on the video. I would appreciate it if you would like the video, sub to the channel, stay tuned till the end of the video. Check out more of my other videos that will pop up at the end of this one. And also follow me on Instagram. The link to that is in the description below. Go follow me. I'll follow you back. And I'm going to get right into it. So I started with Crete in the middle of July of 2020. And it has been just about six months. So I wanted to do another review. And for those of you that have watched my channel, you know that I've made videos in the past talking about Crete in my time here. And I've, I've been doing that. I've been giving updates on how it's been going throughout the time that I've been here. I think I've done four or five videos about it. And uh, not much has changed for those of you that have seen the previous videos. Not much has changed. Things are going very well here. I am getting the miles. Nothing has changed. People told me in the uh, the beginning, like when I first started making videos about Creep, people told me like, oh, wait until after 30 days or 60 days or six months and you'll your miles will drop everything's going to turn south. Nothing has happened like that. Nothing has happened like that. I can assure you that as long as you are a hard runner, if you come here or for those people that are at Crete, uh, some of them watch my videos, you can attest to that. Like if you want to run the wheels off this truck, if you want to be moving every legal minute possible, they will keep you moving. I'm never on a load, literally never on a load on my way to deliver and I'm not set up with the pre-plan before I get to that delivery. That's never happened one week, one time, really, since being at this company. If you want to make 3,000 miles plus on average a week throughout a month span, like so some weeks you may get 2,500 miles because uh, that, that last load delivers the day after the payroll cutoff, but that next week you get 36, 3,700 miles. That's gonna happen a lot, but over the course of a month, over the course of a four week span, if you run it hard, if you never turn down loads, you communicate, you don't waste your time out here, you do what you're supposed to do, you run, you're gonna make 3,000 miles plus a week. Or if you're somebody who doesn't really wanna push it that hard, that's fine. If you don't wanna do that, you can do that. Some weeks you can just take it easy and be like, you know, I'm cool with only getting 24, 2,500 miles this week. They'll let you do that too. They'll let you sit on a load and get a reset. Um, but if you wanna push it, if you wanna run hard, you wanna maximize your income, which is what I'm all about, you can do that at this company. That's what I love about it. I'm never sitting. And I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody who's been OTR. I'm all 48 OTR. I don't know about the dedicated lanes, I don't know about regional, I don't know about any of those, or local, but I do know about all 48 OTR, I do know about that. And most of the freight is drop and hook. I would say a good, I would say a good 80% of the loads are drop and hook. Most of the time you're doing a drop and hook, at least on one of the ends, at least on the pickup or the delivery. Um, sometimes you'll get a live load on both ends, but most of the freight is drop and hook. It is. And you deal with very easy customers. Uh, most of these customers are Fortune 500 companies, so they have a bunch of a bunch of drop trailers at these yards. And like I said, that that's why there's so much drop and hook, because these companies that they run for are Fortune 500 companies. You have to have scale to get contracts with these companies. And so anyway, that's nice. As a company driver, you want drop and hook because the more drop and hook, the better. And there's a lot of open appointments at Crete. So is you just get the load as, there as fast as you can. You can deliver it a day or two early sometimes. As long as you get it there safely, it, it doesn't matter. You can deliver it a day or two early and they'll have you set up with a pre-plan before you even get to the delivery, like I said. So that's what I love about working here, especially as a company driver, because what we wanna do is keep these wheels rolling. That's all that matters. Keep the wheels rolling. Never stop moving this truck, except for when you absolutely have to because you're mandated to stop and that's it. But if you wanna make the real money as a company driver, 
this is a great company to do it at. You don't have to do drive-in. You can do reefer, you can do flatbed. They have different divisions at Crete. That's what I love about it. Like if I wanted to switch from doing drive-in like I'm doing now and do reefer, I could do it. I could switch to do flatbed if I wanted to. All I have to do is transfer over. I'm doing OTR now. Well, eventually I'm going to switch to a dedicated lane. And when I do that, all I have to do is make one phone call they switch me over and bam, I'm doing dedicated and I'm home more. Eventually I'm going to be doing that. I've been talking about that a lot on my channel about how I'll be doing that later this year. But uh, yeah, I mean, this has been a great decision for me. I look back six months ago and I'm like, man, this was a great decision coming to this company. It was because I truly mean this. I truly mean this. I am not going to change companies at all until I'm either doing my own thing, meaning starting my own business within the industry, or I quit truck driving. And the second one, I'm probably never gonna do. And, but the first one, I'm probably gonna end up doing, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. So I'm gonna be here at Crete for a while. I am. I'm gonna be here at Crete for a while. I don't plan on going anywhere. If I wanted to be a company driver for my entire trucking career, I would stay here at Crete for my entire trucking career. I would. I would see no reason to leave. I wouldn't because they have it all. They have local, regional, dedicated, flatbed, reefer, drive-in. They have all the divisions. Why would I leave? If the money's good and the operations are impeccable here, I mean, the way they dispatch you and communicate with you, it's amazing. It's, it's so much better than a lot of the companies out there. It really is. And so that's my opinion on Crete for six months. I'll make some more videos while I'm out this time uh, about Crete and my time out like I always do for those of you that have been watching my channel. But if you're new to the channel, man, I really appreciate you for clicking on the video, like I said in the beginning. And I hope you stay tuned this far into the video. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in Crete and, and you want to come over, well, all you got to do is type in Google, look up the recruiting number for Crete in Lincoln, Nebraska, call them. And if you want to uh, give me a referral, my driver code is F-R-E-T-Y. I'll put it in the description below. I'll put it in the description. You don't have to give me a referral, but if you want to, all you got to do is check that out and, uh, yeah, and tell that to the recruiter and tell that to the people in the orientation if you do decide to come over to Crete. But it's been a great time here at Crete so far, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day that's watching this video. And uh, yeah, peace out. Stay tuned for the next one.